an Egyptian. There were just a few slips in this one, okay, um, particularly bar, um, what bar is that? Seven. In this right hand. Okay, so I suggested that you put a ring around these notes here and put reed. So you need G sharp and F. So there should be a gap on the piano. It doesn't look like it on the music. The music makes it look as if the notes are right next to each other. But actually, on the piano, you can see they're not next to each other because there's a white key that comes between them. So it's a bit deceiving what you see on the music and what you're doing on the piano. It doesn't always quite match. So just make sure you're getting those notes. The other thing um, wasn't quite right was the counting along here on the third line. So this chord here in the left hand was just a little bit late sometimes. It didn't quite come in on the fourth count. All right. And then when we get towards the end, you will find with this bar, with this crotchet D, but on the last line where you've got the crotchet B flat, um, you were just sort of going straight on over it and not waiting on there. Okay. Um, and then sometimes you weren't always getting the chords right in the left hand. So they either have A at the bottom or G. So it's either an A chord or a G chord, okay? Um, and then you tried the pedal, which was fine. And it's just making sure you get these notes right at the end here, which is E and A. So I'm gonna play it all the way through. All right, don't necessarily want you to go any quicker. It's just trying to get these little sort of things that are not quite right um, corrected this week. I've got my foot ready on the pedal, okay? So always rest it so that you can pivot up and down like that on your heel. You shouldn't be lifting your foot off the floor. So make sure either the pedal is far enough away or you're sitting far enough away that you can comfortably keep your heel firmly on the floor and you're just pivoting up and down with your foot. But rest it on there to start. Um, don't suddenly try and introduce your foot when you get to the end of the music because that will create a, a bit of a distraction and a, a disturbance to the playing. Okay, so from the beginning then, make sure you've got this chord at the bottom, which is A and E, then it moves down and comes back again. So as you listen through to this, just listen to the counting on that third line of music, okay? And just watch and listen how I do the rhythms in bar 11 and 12, and then the ending, okay? How I play that. But do make sure you're playing this left hand chord because you get sort of starting with the, the wrong um, chord. And I don't think you recognize that it wasn't correct. That's not correct. That is correct. So it should be A matching in both hands. 